So today I'm gonna share how I wash my hair. This video has been highly requested. Okay, requested one time. But this is how I wash my hair. by dividing my hair into 10 twists, 4 in the back and 6 in the front, or 5 on each side, however you want to look at it. And I put each twist into a loose bantu knot so I can work on the sections one by one. The shampoo and conditioner that I'm using is Nature's Gates Jojoba. I'm not sure if this is co-washing or not because I do use shampoo but I use way more conditioner than I do shampoo. I just put it in a spray bottle, mix it up with some water, and there you have it. First, I clean my scalp. I just spray the shampoo and conditioner onto my roots and work that in. I prefer to use my fingernails to get off the buildup as opposed to using the pads of my fingers, because if I just use the pads of my fingers, I feel like I'm not really getting the buildup off. But if I use my actual nails, I feel like I'm actually getting the buildup off of my scalp. Then I spray the shampoo and conditioner onto my hair and work that in with my fingers. And I use my fingers to lightly detangle my hair to get any knots out. And I follow that up with my Afro pick starting from the ends and working my way up to the roots until it's completely tangle free. Then I twisted it up, put it in a bantu knot and pinned it out of the way. I used to do this part in the shower but I don't anymore because it takes way too long. When I first get in the shower the water is nice and warm. But by the time I'm like halfway done with my hair, the water is freezing cold. What the fuck? Oh, no, 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 no. Cold. Oh, really cold. And plus, I get to watch Netflix while I do my hair. So I prefer to do it out of the shower. Sometimes I use this shampoo brush. I don't use it often. I rarely ever use it. It's just some cheap shampoo brush that I bought from Sally's for like $3. For this part, I hop in the shower to rinse out my hair, I do one section at a time, and then I apply some apple cider vinegar to my hair. I don't really measure how much I put in the spray bottle, but I put a little bit of apple cider vinegar just to fill the bottom, and then I fill the rest up with water, then I spray it onto my scalp and rub it in, and I spray it onto my hair as well, twist up the section, and put it right back into a bantu knot and I let it sit on my hair for at least 30 minutes. So after 30 or so minutes, I either do this in the kitchen sink or in the shower depending on how I'm feeling at the moment. So I just rinse out all the apple cider vinegar. I do not take the twist out because I don't like taking the twist out and then twisting it back up again. So I just rinse it with the twist in, make sure I get all the apple cider vinegar out of my hair, off of my scalp, and then I wrap my hair with a cotton t-shirt and let that soak up the water for a few minutes. If I feel like a section is too big, I split it in half and I pin the upper section out of the way. And then I take my Jamaican black castor oil and put a little bit on my fingertips and massage that into my scalp. And then I moisturize my hair with some flaxseed gel. The reason that mine is dark as opposed to being just transparent is because I use rosemary water instead of just normal water 
to boil the flax seeds in rosemary water is just basically rosemary that's been boiled in water so yeah I take a good amount of that and I rub that into my hair and work that in Then I seal in the moisture with an oil mix. This is basically just a bunch of different oils and essential oils. Then I work that into my hair, then comb it out one last time to make sure there's no tangles. Twist it up and put it into a bantu knot and move on to the next section. That's it, that's how I wash my hair. I let my hair stretch overnight in these bantu knots, and then I style. Thanks for watching.